Good sports gamers, and today I'll be going over the Golden State Warriors motion cut offense, which will set up in a four out, one in look, which means four guys around the perimeter and one guy down low. Since this is run by the team that features Steph Curry at point guard, it focuses a lot on the initial ball handler getting open looks rather quickly, while also giving a power forward scoring opportunities around the perimeter, so it helps if he can shoot or dribble at least. So also giving your power forward and center assist opportunities through the actions they can trigger by having the ball in their hands, which isn't surprising considering the Warriors run out Durant and Draymond Green at the 4 and the 5 a lot. So it's a very versatile offense. Now let's get into it. You can start the offense from either wing spot or at the top of the three point line and the structure will have a guy on the low block, a guy parked in the corner opposite of him, two guys on the wings, and a guy at the top of the three point line. And we're going to start with triggering the offense from the middle of the court. Depending on who you have with the ball at the top of the three-point line will trigger two different scenarios. Start the offense at the top with the point guard, shooting guard, small or power forward will cause the two players opposite the big down low to give a pin down screen to one another. So if the first guy can't get open, they'll reverse and now the other guy will now throw the screen. So you can just sit there until one comes open. Now starting the offense from the top with the center will create a 5 out look, which means everybody is parked around the perimeter this time, since you're controlling the guy who will be down low. And what happens is you'll activate dual screens on each side of the court. So this is a quick way for your center to rack up easy assists, giving the amount of space the guys catching it receives from the screen and into the paint shall you drive since you're dragging their center towards the 3 point line. The driving part is the only portion where it's necessary for your center to be able to shoot or else his man will drop down into the paint to stop the drop. Now starting on the wing triggers two different actions depending on where the big down low is. Starting the offense on the wing with the big man on the same side gives you two options. First you want to pass it down low and take advantage of the space you have or look to toss it back to the perimeter to the open man on the wing or at the top as these two will repeatedly set screens for one another. The guys in the opposite corner and wing just switch places so there's nothing to look for there. Unless you feel you can get a quick cut to the basket to take advantage of the vacant space. So the big doesn't necessarily need to be a post up option for you to pass it to him. But if he is, the space is there for you to dominate. And if you need help with the post moves, check out our post move tutorial on the channel. But a 9 post threat can still be the hub of the offense and just toss out assist to open guys. And second is you look for the double screen on the opposite side of the court for the guy in the corner. Then it converts into a drag screen for the next guy. For the drag screen it won't activate if you pass to the guy coming off the double screen first then him because the offense will transition into the actions that trigger when you start the offense from the middle of the court. So you have to pass wing to wing to get it to him. And starting the offense on the wing with the big man on the other side has the guy in the opposite wing receive a screen from the guy on the top of the three point line. And these two will alternate setting screens for each other. This is best if they're receiving tight coverage because if the defense is backed off of them, you're not going to create any separation. And secondly is if you pass it to the guy in the corner, a double screen will be set at the top of the three point line. Then the wing will set a screen for the guy at the top to cut to the basket where you might be able to sneak a pass into. And manually generate the offense you can come up the court and call for a pick and roll with the big down low. That will feature three guys around the perimeter. So it's important for your power forward to be able to shoot here. You just want to make sure you set the screen to the single side so you have less defenders in your path as a ball handler and an angle for the roller away from the defenders on the other side. And before I forget the best part of the offense is the computer cutting when they knows the defender straight up leaves them or they feel there's a lane to be had. So be on the lookout for any quick cut chances that AI takes advantage of outside of the framework of the offense as well. Personnel wise as mentioned if your center can post up it's extra icing on a cake but it isn't mandatory. But you do need your power forward to be able to at least knock down an open jump shot to make the 4 out one in offense work. So with that, you should be all set. 
and I hope you guys enjoyed the video and can dominate with this offense. So if you like the video, make sure to subscribe to Sports Gamers Alliance if you haven't so you don't miss any of the NBA 2K18 content we put out. I'm Chris. Thank you all for watching and be good, y'all.